Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Susie and this is I Run Things, the community for all kinds of runners. Big or small, fast or slow, vegan or carnivore, and everything in between. Today we're talking Groups Launch 7. If you like this video, give it a huge thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe. So today we're talking about Launch 7 issues right here. This is the third iteration of the shoes that I own. Why do I like them? Are there any cons to these shoes? Let's talk about that. I have put on these shoes already 110 miles in only four weeks, which is kind of high for me. I've been doing a lot of running indoors on my treadmill and these shoes are just phenomenal shoes to use them on the treadmill. I find that if you run with them on asphalt, they are not as responsive. I think the energy return is not as good, but they are just perfect shoes for the treadmill. So for these winter months, months in which you might be using your treadmill at home or at the gym, if you are able to get to one, if there's one open close to your house, these are phenomenal shoes for that. Okay, first of all, let's compare the six sevens to the sixes, which I have right here. So, well, these ones are kind of worn out right now, but if you look at the actual design, they are basically the same design. I don't think they did change anything. Let's look at them like this. And let's look at them like this. To be honest with you, I think they just rebranded them, but I don't know that they did make any changes. Let's look at the specs on the Brooks website and see if there's any changes in the measurements, the weight of the shoes, or just the fabric, the materials that uh, were used to manufacture the shoes. Let's check that. Okay, so if you look at the website for the Launch 7, right now, number one thing, they are on sale. They, I purchased them for $100 and now they are on sale for $74.95, which is a steal for the shoes. They claim that they are streamlined yet cushioned, which I would agree with as well. And they also claim that the shoe hits the sweet spot between a race flat and a standard training, which to me, that is true as well. These shoes are that weird in between shoe in which you could use them for your interval training or a tempo run and also for a marathon because they have the right amount of support. Brooke says that this midsole is 10 millimeter drop. The weight is nine ounces for men or 255.1 grams, which is pretty light. The arch is medium high. They recommend them for road running. And the technology used here is called Biomogo DNA. Now that's a funny name that many companies use just funky names that sound very technical, very scientific. It's just the pattern of the sole. And this was in the prior iteration of the shoes right here. It's, it's exactly the same pattern like I mentioned before. What Brooks claims is different in both iterations in between the six and the sevens is the lightweight mesh. They claim that the mesh is a lot lighter. Um, and that's pretty much the only change that on their website they say that they made to the shoes. One of the things that I truly enjoy about these shoes is that they feel roomy. When you go online and you check the reviews, most runners would agree with that. I didn't have to order this in a wide, which I have to do for many other shoes that I have purchased. These feel very roomy, even here in the toe box. You know how sometimes when you run, especially if you're running long distance, your toes feel like they are too constricted and sometimes even they are sort of like falling asleep it's like a weird sensation that does not happen with this shoe because they have you have plenty of space right here it's really really roomy one of the things that i really enjoy about this shoe is that they're sort of propel you forward it's not a carbon plated shoe i've never used a carbon plated shoe if someone wants to offer me one shoe so i can review it one of these big box stores wants to give me one i'm here <laughs> i would love to run in a carbon plated shoe just to see the difference in between that those shoes 
and these ones but this feels like it propels you forward it's really quick on your feet like from the moment that you put your your right you land here and then you propel you it feels very very quick one of the things that i really enjoy about these shoes is that when i want to grab something that i'm going to feel comfortable with this is the shoe i grab i don't go for my adidas ultra boost or my adidas adios or my adidas boston i don't do that because those shoes are truly fast shoes on the asphalt for the road but when i really want to just enjoy running and enjoy the experience and know that i am going to be comfortable but fast at the same time i grab these shoes now one of the things that i personally have issues with because i do a little bit of a heel strike is that i tend to break the shoes right here these shoes have more than 100 miles a little bit over 100 miles these ones probably have 600 miles these shoes are like indestructible you guys like i still use them sometimes for like two three mile runs outside i still use them because they are still in great shape even though they have a cheap ton of miles on them and speaking of which if you want to see how they age you just have a little bit there's like a little bit of like erosion right there and obviously they're pretty flat these shoes are just outstanding shoes and for $74.95 I think they're a steal I'll put a link below it's not an affiliate link it's just a link to the Brooks website and you can go check these shoes out they're just phenomenal phenomenal shoes super durable you can take them at least for me I am 115 114 pound woman for me these shoes last truly like 600 miles which is unbeatable for the price again I purchased them for hundred dollars another on sale for 74.95 the colorway is just fantastic now let's talk about the mesh because that's the one thing that um brooks claims there's a difference it's in the mesh this is gonna sound really funny but these shoes are much more soft than these ones and it's not only because these are a lot more used it's just that truly the mesh is different let's see if i can get closer and you guys can see it So the mesh in these ones seems a lot tighter than in these ones. Now let's look at the actual weight of the shoes. Let me check if this uh, Brooks Launch 6 were heavier than the 7s. Let's hold on a second. Launch 6 versus 7. Okay. So when you go to Google and go Google and you ask, you need to read the small print sometimes guys, because if you check the website, it says that the launch seven actually weight more than the six, the sixes, the sixes were 0.4 ounces lighter than the sevens. And you know what? I'm going to agree with that because you can actually, when you hold them, that's something that you can actually feel. However, I like this shoe a lot. These ones, again, I like a lot better. Completely unscientific. Um, from Running Shoes Guru, it will tell you that the only significant difference between the 6 and 7 is an updated single layer mesh upper. Earlier versions of the shoe offered a soft, Smooth right. A couple of years ago, Brooke redesigned this shoe for an even more aggressive speed trainer feel intended for use in fast boat workouts. Okay. Oh, and this is another good one. Believe in the Run is saying that the Launch 6 was altogether boring. I've never found these shoes to be boring, guys. I am sorry. I disagree with you, Believe in the Run. There's a lot of controversy about the shoes and in my humble opinion, and this is just me, and in the end, you have to use the shoes that make you feel happy. These shoes make me feel protected. They make me feel like I know I am not going to get injured 
when I wear these shoes. Now, would I wear these shoes for a 5K or even a 10K or even a half marathon? Probably not if I want to PR, if I want to run really fast, if I want to have that oomph in my feet, in my stride, probably I won't be using this. But for use on the treadmill, these shoes are unbeatable. And the colorway, look at this. They are so striking. They are so, so beautiful. Look at that. Now, granted, I've been using them on the treadmill, so they are not dirty at all whatsoever. <laughs> but these shoes are just so beautifully designed and so comfortable and at the same time if you want to do interval training or tempo or long runs these shoes are ideal not every single time we go out there we want to feel feel fast or are going for a pr so 80 percent of the time i'm going to be using my brooks launch did i feel a difference in between the sixes and the sevens not really now i don't have the fives i threw them away already um, so i can't compare but i think these shoes they didn't make a huge difference i mean i think it was in the end it's all marketing i think that's why they wanted to get a new iteration of these shoes but for what it's worth they're phenomenal shoes to go out there on random pavement or hit the treadmill I hope you enjoyed this review guys again this is not scientific this is just my point of view but i hope you found value in this review and if you did give it a huge thumbs up share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe as always run fearless you guys